Hi, my name's Drew Gardner. When I started shooting video on my 5D Mark II, one of the first things I realised was the power of moving the camera. It's all very well having a really great tripod and doing all of your shots in a very static way, but when you move the camera with beautiful pans and beautiful tilts, it lends a great, great feel to what you're shooting. Let's take a look at this clip which I shot in South Africa. So here we have this overall view of a South African township. It's pretty good, but let's have a look at what happens when we carry out a beautiful smooth pan. A worthwhile benefit, I think you'll agree. Let's have a look at this tilt, which I did on the footage of London's Docklands. This tilt action emphasizes the height of the buildings and gives it a really dynamic feel. Once again, moving the camera, a very powerful thing. Now when I traveled to South Africa recently, I was shooting stills and moving images. And that meant that I had to take a stills tripod head, like this lovely ball head here. And I also had to take a fluid head, pan and tilt. That was a lot of extra luggage to take. So here I am trying to track this moving train in low light with a Manfrotto 057 ball head. It really is excellent for stills images, but as you can see, I'm getting a little bit of a sticky movement as I'm tracking the train. Not really ideal at all. Now I'm going to try the same move with a Manfrotto 503 HDV video head. You can see it's presenting no problem at all and I'm getting a really smooth tracking movement. Now let's try a tilt shot with a stills head. You can see I can do it but it's a bit of a struggle again, not really working out well at all. Now let's try the same movement with a Manfrotto 503 HDV video head. You can see this tilt is beautifully controlled, exactly what I want. Now the digital SLR manufacturers are making hybrid cameras, Manfrotto are making hybrid tripod heads, like this one. Now, first we're gonna have a look at it in photo mode. Now in photo mode, the camera moves on all three axes. So you've got the tilt, You've got the pan, but you've also got the movement on the ball head, like so. Now you never use that for moving images. So we've had a look at the tripod head in photo mode. Let's have a look at it in video mode. Now to do that, all we have to do is click this little button after we've moved the camera into position. There. We're now in movie mode and we've got all of the actions that we need to use this as a movie head. So I've got those lovely smooth pans, those beautiful tilts. And we can adjust the friction here. It even has a built-in counterbalance system which counters the weight of the camera on a tilt, like this. And once again, you can adjust the friction on that so it works exactly the way you want it to. So if you're shooting stills and moving images on the same assignment, this could be a great solution for you.